So you were born in Palabor, this small town up somewhere near the Kruger National Park, and you were maybe a skateboarder and maybe a cricketer. <laughs> Talk to me about that. Yeah, it was just... Um, like, cricket came late to me. Like, I think it came to me at about 10, 11, which is not super late, but, I mean, if you're in India, you're born with a cricket bat in your hand, you know? So I was, I was late to that party. I didn't even know it kind of existed. Um, and then I went up to go and visit some family in Zimbabwe, Christmas holidays and stuff like that, and they were playing in the backyard, and I wanted to kind of figure out what this thing was, and... Yeah, next thing you know, uh, I got back to school in January and um, I just need to be ma- become aware of it, be made aware of it. And then I realised, oh, well, it was always there, you know, cricket was always there. So then I started playing and, um, but being in a small town like Palabora, it's just like, it's just bush. Most of the time on weekends, I'd just be fishing or I'd be in the bush. Um, so cricket was fun, but... Yeah, to get to cricket, I'd have to walk through the bush or, you know, it was that kind of thing. Uh, and then, yeah, as I got a little bit older, I started to venture into other things like skateboarding and art and music. And so I've always had that kind of side to me, um, which is probably why I like surfing right now. And I started skating again. Um, yeah, and then I think was I was eight, 19, I moved from Palabora to Pretoria to kind of pursue cricket. And uh, also thought at the same time, I, was, I took my skating stuff with me because I was like, if I want, I'm, honestly, I wanted to become a professional skateboarder more than I wanted to become a cricketer. I think when I first started playing cricket, I wanted to become a cricket player for South Africa. Every picture on my wall was just like, you know, Alan Donald, John T. Rhodes, Hansi Cronier, that kind of era. Um, and then at about 16, like five years later, when I started taking skateboarding a lot more seriously, I was like, this is what I want to do. And... Uh, when I got to Pretoria, I was pushing both, but cricket paid more. <laughs> <laughs> so I was playing club cricket for Eastras, and they were paying me like 500 rand a game or something like that, where skateboarding was just costing me money at that time. And uh, so I had to eventually just give up the skateboarding and go in the direction of cricket, which worked out okay, I suppose. But Yeah, it did work out pretty okay, and you've, and you've, you've come the full circle. You're back to sk- skating now more than what you're playing cricket. Yeah, there's that funny story about that fisherman that sees a kid and he sees him fishing, and then he says, why are you fishing? He says, I'm catching one fish and I take it home and I feed my family. And he's like, well, if you fish here for a little bit longer, you can catch two fish, take one to your family and sell the other one. And eventually it goes full circle where he convinces this kid that if he fishes for long enough, he can own a boat and he can own a business. And then when the kid says, and then when I've got all of that, what do you want to do? And he said, well, then you can just fish. And it's exactly what I'm doing right now. I used to skate, I did the cricket thing, and now I'm skating again. So it's great. 